Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing this 2024 Hyundai Venue. I would like to give a shout out to Blaze Alexander Hyundai State College who let me spend some time with this car so I can review it for you guys. Let's get right into it. Now when we come to the front end, we can see this giant grille and the chrome and the black contrast looks nice. We have chrome, black elements and the Hyundai logo up at the center. Now when we come on to the side, we have these LED headlamps, LED DRLs with the turn indicator. And that's our front profile with the front bumper and the skid plate down below. And now when we come on to the side end, we can see we have 17 inch tires on the front and on the rear. And as you can see, this is the side look, looks pretty nice. And then we have the indicator here on the fender that looks pretty good. And then the cuts and lines of the car look awesome. We have the black painted mirror caps. The mirror caps are black painted. And now as we come onto the back, we can see the Hyundai badge up on the center with the venue lettering written below it. And then we have these looking tail lamps these tail lamps look good and then we have the backlight down below and that's our bottom bumper and then now when we come to the glass we have like a small spoiler backlight with the defogger and a rear wiper and as you can see we have a two-tone coloring scheme over here with white paint at the bottom and the black roof looks pretty good the contrast and it has roof rails on top as well going to look at the engine So under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 1.6 liter four cylinder that produces 121 horsepower and 113 pound feet of torque that goes to a CVT automatic transmission. And it gets 29 miles per gallon in the city and 33 miles per gallon on the highway. And now when we plop the back door, we can see we have hard plastic up there. We have a little bit of the cloth trim, soft touch trim near the door handle and now when we come onto the seats we see this gorgeous looking cloth seats that have the white stitchings that look awesome and then there are three headrests up at the back so all three passengers get a headrest and then we have the center console that has two usb ports up in the back and then there's a storage pocket with the next the second seat at the back and then as you i did move the seat a front a little bit according to my driver posture so now see the amount of legroom I have from behind we have good amount of headroom this improved legroom will be there if once I set it according to my posture we have okay okay amount of legroom and then headroom now as you can see we have these body colored painted door handles with the request sensor when we come into the front door we can see the same trim as behind hard plastic hard plastic soft touch with the white stitching and then we have the power window controls one touch up one touch down control for the driver and then we have the other power window controls we have the lock and lock function ad mirror adjustments and then storage space at the bottom the seats up front are the same as behind cloth seats with white stitching and white accents in the middle. When we look at the steering wheel, it's a pretty basic looking steering wheel with a little bit of soft touch around leather wrapped steering wheel. Then we have the volume up down controls, track change control and we have the controls for the cruise control and some of the infotainment system controls. And as you can see, this is the instrument cluster of the vehicle. It's fully digital. It shows you the speed, the uh, if the engine is hot or cold, the mileage, temperature, and the amount of fuel. And now, when we when we look at the center dashboard, we can see the white lining all around the middle AC vents. We have an eight-inch infotainment system in the middle that has a super fast response or super fast touch time. It has a super fast UI with good response time. Then we down below, we have some physical controls for the air conditioning. This is to increase or decrease your temperature. We have the auto mode for the AC. We can switch off the AC. We can uh, change the direction. We have the front and the rear defoggers. There's a screen in the middle that shows the temperature and the settings for the AC. And then this is the button to switch off the air conditioner, the fan speed. You can toggle the fan speed and then internal external circulation of the car. Then 
and now when we come down there there's a wireless charging pad over here i'm as a usb c port a 12 volt socket as you can see a usb a port and an indicator to tell whether your phone is wirelessly charging or not and then we have this cute little shifter the cvt automatic shifter and it has a nice touch to it we have glossy black finish on top and then we have the park reverse neutral and drive and then we have the heated seat controls down here with the drive mode select and there are three levels of heated seats you can increase or decrease the heat how much ever we before we move forward with this review, I just want to let you know to hit that like button and subscribe so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. And yeah, if you're wondering, this does have uh, lumbar support a little bit, but it's manually adjustable seats. So yeah, this has manually adjustable seats and then some infotainment system physical controls. Then if you're wondering, this is our drive mode select. We have different drive modes and you move it like this and I can show you. So we have normal sport and snow mode. So this is not all wheel drive, but you can see the cool normal is like this and sport mode. You can see this cool uh, color changes to red and then snow mode is basically if you want to drive in the snow, it's not proper all wheel drive, but it has snow mode. So it should be able to take you through, through some snow. And as you can see, we have speakers here. Stylish door handles, pretty good. And overall, the steering feel is pretty good. And we have physical stocks here for the lights, indicators, and then we have the physical stocks for the wipers. And now let's check out the boot space. And like this, and you can see what a big box is kept in the boot. So yeah, it's like a small SUV, but you have this cargo cover built in from the factory. Then you can see, it's a pretty good boot like the boot is pretty big for its size and then it's just manual and then you can just club this i really like the taillight design it's something unique this is the fuel cap the back skid plate bumper is like this the registration number would be down here it has the back lights and then i would say yeah and then here's the reverse camera I know it's a little in a less obvious spot, but now let's check the clarity. And as you can see, this is our reverse camera. I would say it's pretty clear. I would say the reverse camera is pretty clear and has a good UI, quite clear. So I like the quality of the reverse camera. So yeah, the dash is pretty basic materials, but yeah. The screen is, see how fast the screen works. It has a good UI. And then over here, wow, we have some storage space over here. And then this is the glove box. And as you can see, we have ample amount of storage in the glove box. And now for those of you wondering, let's look at its window sticker. This car only costs $25,279, which brings it to about like $27,000, including taxes and fees, which I would say in this economy is a steal. You are not going to get so many features in $27,000. Nowadays, people aren't giving as many features. So yeah, for $27,000, I would say it's value for money. A thumbs up from me in terms of value of money. If you are wondering, for $25,000, it gets blind spot monitoring also. See, the rear crush traffic alert, blind spot monitoring for $27,000 and this black mirror caps. So yeah, I am pretty impressed that they are giving blind spot monitor in a $25,000 car. Like, I would say the material use is as expected for a baseline car and for an entry level car for Hyundai. So it's, but yeah, I would say it's pretty good. It won't the material use is way better than one of the other cars I reviewed on my channel make sure to check that out and now guys. for the final and honestly guys let me know down in the comments how does this white paint with the black roof and the roof rails look on top of this car let me know down in the comments personally I feel it gives a different appearance to the car and it guys, looks awesome. as you can see this is the key for the Hyundai Venue Limited you can see it's pretty fancy looking for a $25,000 car. And then we have the lock function. 
unlock function and it has a remote start as well with the honking so yeah as you can see this is the key pretty fancy just say so you know it's the 2024 when you limited model that's top of the line variant so it's the limited model top of the line and for 25 grand it's fully loaded affordable and has good fuel economy and you think for a small car this is less but due to snow mode snow mode is the reason it's a little less and yeah and i would say it's pretty practical for the amount of boot space and seat space it has it is pretty practical and good for your daily use easy to park 60000 mile new vehicle warranty 10 year 100000 mile powertrain warranty which is the most any company offers and 70 year unlimited mile anti perforation warranty and 3 year 36000 mile free maintenance on the car it has all the advanced safety technology with forward collision avoidance assist lane keeping assist driver attention warning rear view camera and then it has the heated mirrors it has electronic stability control rear occupant alert and the feature list goes on and now for the final verdict so i would say it's quite value for money and quite affordable and it's good for driving even if you are on the highway it will be way better than one of the other cars i reviewed on this channel 121 horsepower should be able to get you far and but for the final verdict i would say it's quite affordable and i love the touch and feel overall of this car and i am honestly shocked it has a wireless charger so according to me thumbs up value for money it has heated seats and yeah make sure to make sure to click on the video that is appear make sure to click on the video that is appearing on your screen so you can learn more about that car in detail